We're excited you have chosen Gwinnett Technical College for your education. To begin your application, you need to set up your account. Enter your legal first name, legal last name, and an email address you have access to. Make sure your name is spelled correctly and matches your ID. Double check that your email address is correct before completing the CAPTCHA and clicking Submit. Once you have submitted your name and email address to set up your account, GTC will send you an email to complete your account setup. Go to the email inbox of the address you provided and select Set Password. You will be prompted to set the password for your account. We recommend using a strong password for your application. You can recover your password online if you forget. Welcome to your student portal. Toward the bottom of the home page, find the button to start a new application. You are going to need to select an application type. Make sure to select the application type that meets your needs. There is a short description of each type. New first-time college student, transfer, dual enrollment, readmit, transient student, and adult education. Only use the adult education application for ability to benefit. Choose your application type from the drop-down menu. We need to know which campus you plan to attend, Lawrenceville or Alpharetta North Fulton. Now you need to select the program type you'd like, Certificate, Diploma, or Degree Program. After selecting your program, choose your major from our list. Do some research prior to selecting your major to make sure it is correct. Select the term you plan to attend. As you continue your application, the information you provided on your profile will automatically populate. Review to make sure the information is accurate. Enter your legal name. Make sure to note any previous names or name changes. Select your legal sex. You may also include your preferred gender. Include your date of birth. Please make sure this matches your ID. Choose the citizenship status that best represents your current situation. Enter your social security number or taxpayer ID with no dashes. Indicate your racial identity. The next section is related to your residency status. Read each section carefully and choose the option that applies to you. Pay attention as this part of the application helps us determine your tuition rate. Type your current mailing address and include the best phone number where you can be reached. If you only have one phone number, please use it for both the home and cell phone numbers. We have some questions about you and your family's military status and previous education. Then we go on to placement testing and your high school and any previous colleges attended. If you have a GA testing ID, you can put that into the application. If you are a transfer student, make sure to indicate that you have previously earned college credits. High school information includes the name of the high school and approximate date of graduation. College information also includes the name of the school and the approximate dates of your start and end at the institution. You are required to provide information about an emergency contact. If you have a fee code waiver, please enter it on the screen when asked. Your next steps include confirming your birth date is correct and that your social security number or taxpayer ID is correct. It is important that you review these to ensure accuracy. Review your application to make sure it is accurate. You can edit the application if you need to by selecting the Edit option. After reviewing the information you've provided, you will submit your application. We provide additional information that you need to read prior to signing your application for final submission. There is information related to federal laws and Gwinnett Tech policies that you need to know. Verify all is true and correct by checking the box and then putting your legal name in the signature box. Next is paying the application fee. Gwinnett Tech has a secure online payment portal. 
you will be automatically directed to the portal after verifying and submitting your application. Follow the on-screen prompts and include all payment information required. Log into your portal to track your application progress. Remember that you need to submit official transcripts of your high school completion or equivalency and any previous college coursework, as well as proof of lawful presence and residency.